Hello everyone, this is Dr. Yogesh. I again welcome you to this new session in Genetics and Molecular Biology lecture series. Uh, in the same competency BI 7.4, uh, we have so far discussed recombinant DNA technology. We have discussed construction of recombinant DNA and the subsequent cloning procedures so as to identify the transfer of recombinant DNA effectively in the grown cells. Now we will move on to applications of recombinant DNA technology. So what are the applications? So it has vast applications. It has applications in health also and in industry also. So it has application in manufacturing proteins and hormones synthetically. A practical goal of recombinant DNA research is the production of material for biomedical application. The technology has two distinct merits. One is it can supply large amounts of uh, materials uh, that could be uh, obtained by conventional purification methods like interferon, plasminogen activating factor, other blood clotting factors can be synthesized with the help of recombinant DNA technology. The, it has created a revolution in the healthcare. Secondly, it can provide human materials like we have, we know that insulin is the first hormone which is synthesized by recombinant DNA technology. Then there are growth hormones synthetically prepared. There are other factors also which can be used as a therapeutic agent for a variety of medical conditions. There are diagnostic purposes also like AIDS test. The diagnosis of disease like AIDS, hepatitis is now simple and rapid. We can't, uh, you know, uh, consider diagnosis of COVID-19 without the help of recombinant DNA technology and PCR technique. Okay. So these are the techniques which have immensely contributed to the healthcare and not only therapeutic but also diagnostic uh, area of the healthcare. Then coming to the diagnosis of molecular diseases which we have discussed, the analysis of this type of application could be done in understanding the molecular basis of the disease like sickle cell anemia, thalassemia, though we know the clinical manifestation but going to the molecular level and understanding the disease and find out a solution which can have a good, better therapeutic response to the disease by the patient. So again the familial hypercholesterolemia, cystic fibrosis, maybe certain gene therapy or hormone supplementation or enzyme supplementation can alleviate the symptoms of the medical condition. So it has a wide range of application in diagnosis of molecular diseases. A very specific role in prenatal diagnosis also. If the genetic lesion is understood prior to the birth and a specific probe is available, the prenatal diagnosis is possible using fetal cells in amniotic fluid or chorionic villi and not only that but even the fetal DNA circulating in maternal blood can also be investigated for the presence of any prenatal uh, condition which can lead to a disastrous lifespan of a baby. So it has a role in prenatal diagnosis also and next is what it is it has the role in gene therapy also. The strategy is to clone a gene into a vector that will readily be taken up and incorporated into genome of a host cell. As a history of gene therapy, we can see that in 1990, a patient with adenosine DMINS deficiency was treated successfully uh, with gene replacement therapy. Okay, in future, probably many inherited disorders like sickle cell anemia, uh, thalassemia, various enzyme deficiencies may be treated by gene replacement therapy and the research is still going on. And it has application in horticulture and agriculture also. The geni genetically engineered plants have been developed to resist drought and disease and have a better yield of uh, agricultural products like fruits, maybe grains and pulses, etc. Then next is what it is uh, industrial application also. The preparation of ethylene glycol from ethylene is made possible by recombinant DNA technology and it has application in forensic medicine also. So investigation of a crime can be done with this recombinant DNA technology and specifically PCR. The restriction analysis pattern of DNA of one individual will be very specific and that we have understood in DNA fingerprinting also. Okay. So but the pattern will be different from person to person. So we can identify the suspect whether it is actually a criminal or not. We can identify with the help of recombinant DNA technology. Then there are applications in transgenesis also. Transgenesis refers to the transfer of somatic genes into fertilized ovum, which will be found in somatic as well as germ cells and passed on to the successive generations. So we can understand the evolution of human being. So it has other applications also like epigenetics and all. So we can understand methylation processes which have not only the uh, manifestations of actual genetic sequences, but 
the surrounding also gets you know your dna modified and that will exhibit the differences of uh, genetic and racial um, origin okay so that is the epigenetic studies will also be facilitated by recombinant dna technology so this was regarding applications of recombinant dna technology and you can refer to this literature for further studies thank you so much for watching the video hope you are subscribed if not kindly subscribe to the channel and hit like and share the video thank you so much once again for watching the videos and keep motivating us thank you so much